Good morning, everyone. Right now, I'm just hanging out with Miss Luna for a bit. Oh, she did not like that. <laughs> I have a busy next few days ahead of me. We are working six flights over the next three days. And so today we are doing a Fresno turn, which means we fly from Dallas to Fresno, California, and then Fresno right back to Dallas. I need to change out of my pajamas and get my food ready to go. And then, look at this lazy girl. <laughs> and then I will be on my way to the airport. For my lunch today, I am bringing some chicken, rice, and broccoli, and I put it in this glass container so I can heat it up using the oven on the plane. I'm bringing an apple, and for some snacks, I'm bringing a granola bar and these cheddar bunnies. Since it's just a day trip, I'll be back around 8 or 9 p.m. tonight, so I only need to bring enough food to last me for the day. time to get my uniform on and then I will be out the door. I am actually running a little bit late but I'm ready to head out now so let's have a great day. I just got to the airport and today is September 11th. It is a bit of a somber day, especially for us in the aviation industry. I just wanted to take a second here on my channel, even though this video will be uploaded after the date, but just to remember all of those who lost their life and who gave their life on this horrific day in history. You are not forgotten and I think this is just another reminder to hug those who are close to you and make sure your loved ones know that you love them and care about them and just to be grateful for this beautiful life that we do have. I have 10 minutes until sign in so let's head into the airport and get these busy next few days started. Wish I could go back to right before you told me I'd try to change it all but look at us now, we could have gone so far It hurts to realize we're parted Yeah, look at us now, this is who we are And I just know things will never be the same I just got into the airport and signed in, so now I just need to see exactly what gate I'm going out of for my first flight. We are going out of the D terminal, so I need to head over that way because right now I am in the A terminal, so we are going to take the Skylink over. And then we'll get ready for the first flight of the day. Normally, I like to walk gate to gate even across the entire airport, but since I am running a little bit late today and boarding starts in about 25 or 30 minutes, I just want to get to the plane as quickly as possible so we can be on time. Strangers again Strangers again I thought we'd never fall Could have tried much harder Exit here for gates D1 through D22 I just got off the Skylink in the D terminal, so I'm going to go and find my gate, and we will be on our way to Fresno, California. If I have time, I will talk to you guys when I land there, and then if not, I'll see you all when I get back to Dallas. landed in Fresno, California. The flight here was just a little over three hours and it was pretty smooth except for just a little bit of turbulence mid-flight. As you all can see, it's a bit hazy out, but not too bad. Flying in, you could definitely see more of that orange and yellow looking haze from the fires. We have about 20 minutes until we start boarding for our flight back to Dallas, so I will see you all then. We 
just landed back in Dallas. The flight here was two hours and 45 minutes, so it was a bit shorter than the previous flight. And it was super fun. We had a couple that was heading to Chicago on their honeymoon. They were connecting through Dallas, so that was really fun. And now I'm going to get all my stuff together and head home. I just got home from work and Eric is going to make us some steak tacos. Eric seasoned the steak tonight with salt, pepper, and cumin. While Eric cooks, I am going to find a movie for us to watch. We've really been liking thriller movies, which is awesome because that's what I love to read. I am picking out a vigilante with Olivia Wilde. The description of the movie says that it's about a woman who turns Avenger to help victims of domestic abuse after she escaped abuse herself. The steak is done and it looks delicious. With our steak tacos, we are trying this new rosé. It's called And Why Am I Mr. Pink? It's a very pretty bottle. Eric cut the steak up and I like mine more well done, so he cut my pieces up here and then he likes his more medium rare. So his are right there. The taco shells just came out of the oven. Eric got these on Amazon, so he's trying them out. And if they're good, I'll make sure to put a link to them in the description box below and on my tacos, I just have rice, the steak, and cheese. That's so good. Eric makes the best steak ever. Like better than restaurant quality. Seriously, so good. I think this one wants some <laughs> dinner as well, even though she already ate. We just tried this rosé and it was really good. I am normally not a fan of rosé, but we both really liked this one. And again, it's called And Why Am I Mr. Pink? And we got it from Costco. Okay, so I tried all four of these Gringo Bandito hot sauces that I got on Amazon. This one's the original. This one's good, this one's like an eight. The extra hot, like isn't extra hot. So they're pretty much even. I would knock off a point. How's it, how are you gonna be extra hot and not be extra hot? So this thing's like a seven, cause it's just not hot. I've been having this green sauce on my like eggs in the morning when I have like uh, like an egg bagel or whatever. And it's super good. I don't really like Verde salsas, but this one like actually has some kick to it. And then this yellow one is actually like weirdly hot. So I'd probably get like eight, seven. This thing's like a 10 with eggs. This thing's super good. And I give this one like a six. It's just kind of hot with not that much flavor. Eric loves hot hot sauce and spicy food, and I am the complete opposite. I cannot stand anything that is even slightly hot or spicy at all. Good morning, everyone. Eric and I just got done with a leg workout. My quads are absolutely killing me, but now we are heading home. We're gonna take the Lunar out to play, and then I have to start getting ready for work.